so up for today a comparison of intel xeon e5-2699 v3 processor and the haswell e i7-5820k basically these two are the same architecture of uh, haswell architecture but the xeon is basically a, a server processor and the haswell e is more tailored toward the desktop or workstation kind of processor and the reason why it's a server and not it depends upon the type of the memory where you have an ECC memory error correcting code memory whether the single error in the memory can be corrected and that's uh, that that's uh, so critical for the mission critical uh, applications in data centers and so on and so forth so uh, let, let's take a look at some of their key differences uh, basically I, I would go with the pricing first I have a $396 price for i7-5820K and I don't have a price for uh, for the Xeon processor so I go to Amazon I have a link in the bottom of it and that shows price for $4,671 for E5-2699V3 Octa Deca 18 cores and that brings us to the other comparison why would you pay 10 times for more for this uh, Xeon processor before we go into that let's take a look at the pass mark score we have 13,000 pass mark score for i7-5820K and the Xeon E5-2699 has 22,892 uh, close to double or uh, not double but 80% more performance so you pay 10 times for an 80% more performance yeah. maybe it does make sense volume 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 come, volume come. so we will go through some of the things and depending upon your needs it may or may not make sense the first you see that we have a whopping 45 megabytes of smart intel's cache memory versus 15 mb for haswell e and then we have it's a 18 cores versus 6 cores in theory you should get a three times better performance but for the fact that the, your clock frequency has, has to be scaled down to allow those 18 percent running in a manageable 145 watt thermal rating so in between these two higher number of cores lower processor clock frequency you get an 80 percent more performance so that is what it is i have uh, given for me since if you, if you can afford to live with a slightly slower performance these are the kind of the processor for workstation you will use for video editing multiple video editings and you can usually the normal processor they will take like half an hour and this guy can do the job in half that time that saves a significant amount of time so over the period you will get the value for the four thousand dollars that you invest in the Xeon e5-2699 but if you do not have a peak deep pocket you can live with the haswell e5820k and save a significant amount of money on that in the short term. Uh, I hope that these comparisons help you. Thanks for taking a look.